Imipomod cream is often prescribed to treat genital warts, but in this video we're focusing on how to use it for two other common conditions caused by sun damage, and they are actinic keratosis and superficial basal cell carcinoma. If you've been prescribed Imipomod and feel unsure how to use it or what to expect, this video is for you. I'll walk through what the cream does, when and how to apply it, what the side effects are and what is normal, and when to stop. Hi, I'm Dr. Finbar, a GP with a special interest in skin health, skin lesions, and skin cancer. I've also made uh, separate videos explaining what actinic or solar keratosis is and another one on BCC and you can find links to those videos in the description below. Iniquimod is a prescription only cream that works by stimulating your own immune system to target and destroy abnormal or damaged skin cells. So it's mainly used for actinic keratosis which are rough sun damaged pre-cancerous patches on the skin due to the cumulative uh, UV damage over time. And it's also used to treat superficial basal cell carcinomas, and that's a very common low-risk, slow-growing form of skin cancer that stays in the very upper layers of the skin. Now, in the UK, we have two versions of Amiquimod. Firstly, we have Aldara, which is a 5% strength, and then we have Azyclara, which is 3.75%. So these creams must be prescribed, and your prescriber should have given you instructions tailored to your individual skin and your individual needs. So what I'm sharing here is general advice to support you through that process. So treatment plans can vary, but let's look at the common way to use it. Firstly, we'll look at actinic keratosis. So for uh, actinic keratosis, we apply a Mikomod two to three times a week, for example, once on a Monday, Wednesday, and a Friday for four weeks. You'll usually be reviewed about four weeks after you've finished that course just to assess how well the treatment has worked for you. Now in the other example for superficial BCCs, it's applied five times a week and that's usually Monday through daily uh, to Friday. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and that's for six weeks. So the area should then be reviewed by your healthcare provider about 12 weeks after that six week course has ended. And they'll get their dermatoscope and have a look up close and confirm that the superficial BCC has resolved. You must apply it uh, directly to the lesions and extend for a centimeter around into the normal skin. And that's because cancerous and precancerous cells, they can extend beyond what we see on the surface. Now, if you're not sure whether to continue on or not, due to maybe irritation or uncertain results with the creams, you need to check back in with your healthcare provider. So here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to apply a Miquimod. So firstly, we apply it at night, just before bedtime. Wash your skin gently with warm water with a mild soap-free cleanser and pat it dry before applying. Then open one of the small uh, sachets of a Miquimod. Uh, you only need a small amount. Just cover it, take a bit out onto your finger and cover the lesion and about a centimeter around it. Just rub it in gently until it disappears. Avoid putting it onto broken skin or in the eyes, lips or around the sides of the nose. So it's important to wash your hands thoroughly after a planet because your finger will also become affected by that. So I usually recommend then waiting after you've put the cream on, wait about 10 minutes before going to bed. It gives the time for the cream to absorb, otherwise it might rub onto your pillow or your bed sheets and spread onto the surrounding nearby skin. So overnight, leave the cream on. That's for at least eight hours before washing it off in the morning. Just use some lukewarm water to rinse it off. Now, if your skin feels dry and it is likely to feel dry and irritated, you can moisturize then. So now the official guidance says to dispose of each sachet after you've opened it once, but myself and many other doctors in the UK advise that you can store the remainder in the fridge. Just fold it over or seal it with a, a little clip um, and use it again the next night. Now that helps to reduce weight waste especially when supply is often limited so you can reuse it even though it says otherwise in the instructions let me know in the comments below if you've had issues getting hold of a micromod in your country that the supply issue has been a difficulty i know in ireland and the uk anyway it's been very patchy at times now this cream can and likely will make your skin look worse before it gets better and that's actually a good sign that it's working so here are some of the things that you might see on your skin so firstly you'll get redness you can get crusting and scabbing of the skin, flaking, peeling, or even weeping. Sometimes you get swelling or itching of the skin and a raw or tender sensation. Now this is all part of the immune reaction. Your body is responsible 
responding to these abnormal cells, it's damaging them, it's killing them. So this is the sort of collateral damage of that. Now, if your skin becomes very, very sore or ulcerated, especially in the legs, it's okay to take a break for a few days from the Amiquimod and then start again. Healing will continue even after you've stopped the cream. Now, some people, particularly those using it on large areas, may get flu-like symptoms, and these can include headaches, uh, muscle aches, tenderness, um, or even nausea. And there's usually, these are usually mild and temporary. And again, you can pause the treatment if needed. It often is the reason why some people won't go back to using it again. There are rare side effects on these, including ulceration, especially if it's applied too often or in the skin's too thin where you're putting it. And you can get pigmentations in the skin, so darker skin may heal darker or even lighter. You can get hair loss at the site of treatment, and underlying autoimmune conditions can be uh, flared up if you have one. Rare cases, severe allergic reactions can occur. Now, if you're worried about anything unusual, apart from the normal stuff that I mentioned earlier, like a widespread or blistering rash or fever, you do need to seek medical advice. Don't just keep applying the amicromod indefinitely. There is a time limit to the treatments I've mentioned earlier, and you've got to stop it after completing the prescribed course. Even if it still looks red or inflamed, the immune response and the healing will continue for several weeks after you've finished applying your treatment. Now, don't forget your follow-up appointment. Your doctor needs to check the area, so if it's solar keratosis after a month, and if it's BCC after about 12 months. So amicromod is a really excellent non-surgical option for sun-damaged skin if it's used correctly, even though you'll probably have to go through some discomfort during the treatment. So follow your treatment plan, expect this irritation, take breaks if needed, and check in with your healthcare provider afterwards. Now, if you wanna know how to determine a benign skin lesion from a skin cancer, watch this next video.